Yeah. I mean, this is what I'm supposed to feel like every single day. <laughs> yeah, you feel a little bit taller, yeah, a little bit straighter, feel, a lot yeah. looser. Yeah, like I like I feel like I'm up here all the time, and right now I'm just like sitting cool. the way I'm supposed to. The reason why I'm here is so I can learn more stuff about myself and help my clients. Super cool, awesome. One of my clients was just here actually. Yeah. He posted a video like of her. I didn't realize she came here. Doriana, with oh. the shoulder popping. Yeah. Wow, she's your client. Yeah. Really? Well, she just started up, but I, I saw that video of her on there. I was like, oh. small, that's a small world, I tell yeah. you. That's awesome. Doriana's great. Cool. Very cool. So right off the bat, I just want to see how balanced we are starting with the what's called leg length inequality. Mm -hmm. um, your right foot, just to give you some perspective, it's about a quarter inch shorter than the left side. Okay. So we're definitely off balance here on the bottom. I'm going to go ahead. Let's bring these up. Let's just see how these are moving. I can tell there's a lot of tension. There's a major discrepancy here. What that means is this left side is going almost down to the glutes. Um, this right one, I would say, is about four to six inches higher up. Mm -hmm. So let me show you where even is if we can get there. And right about there. You feel that? Yeah, I feel like in my lower back right here. Yeah. You feel how hard I have to push to make that joint move? Yeah. Um, like the left one is with just ease? Yeah. What we need to do is we need to bring balance to that. I want to see that when I push that up. I want to see it go all the way down, correct range of motion, mm -hmm. without any restrictions in there. Okay. Basically what it's telling us is your ilio, um, your sacroiliac joints, which run along the sacrum right here, mm -hmm. there's going to be a fixation that's tied into this. Mm -hmm. And this could also wrap around the front. We'll check that in a few minutes. Um, but for now, we're going to be paying attention to what's called the posterior superior iliac spine and its muscle attachments, which are right around this area. There it is. You feel that little gritty? Yep. So it's like kind of like a sand under there. That's definitely telling us there's some uh, myofascial disturbances right there, okay? Yeah. Pretty tender? Yep. Yeah. And then if I climb into that sacrum and along the edge of that sacrum a little bit more, I'm just seeing how the, the muscle tone, oh, there it is. Yep. <laughs> so we run into, anytime we feel like clicking and popping and gritty, um, it's just letting us know there's some disruption to the soft tissues in there. Mm -hmm. And so that is definitely going to be a part of the balance that we need to incorporate back into the body. Um, we may need to do some stuff with the femur, with the um, actual into the knee, and then down into the ankle as well, mm -hmm. as well as the lumbar spine. There's even muscles along the side called your quadratus lumborum, basically attaching the rib cage to the top of the iliac crest. We're probably going to have to check that as well, yeah. especially if you've been having some sternal issues in the front. Yeah. So we want to make sure that the, the ribs are um, doing what they need to do. All the muscles attaching to the ribs are doing what they need to do. And basically everything's in balance. Okay. Another thing that we're going to have to check that's really, really important and as a trainer um, is, is super important to understand is the psoas muscle mm -hmm. and then the iliopsoas, which those two kind of connect together. Yeah. Um, that's a really important part of the core of the body. Some people believe it is the soul yeah. of the body because that muscle is so pivotal. And basically it has attachments to your spine as well as the lower extre extremity and because you sit a lot, you put your hip into a state of flexion a lot. Yeah. And when you compress the, the joint from being tucked in all the time, it causes disruption to that psoas muscle. Yeah. All right. We're just getting started. Is it, you having fun yet? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like jumping like red notes in my head right now. Oh, man. Like I want to learn. Yeah, how to totally, totally. That was good, though. We, we went through a lot of structures there, so it's awesome. And that's what I love about the body is we can literally go through all these different structures and really understand how it's working and what yeah. it's doing. And, oh, yeah. I, um, and I've been, like, trying to do things on my own for the past couple of years, and I've gotten it to a way better place now. Good. And so, I like, it's interesting as hell to me because it's just obviously, like, I'm active and I help people with their form and stuff like that. And I'm like, if I'm so good about this, I can't imagine what it feels like to... To, you know, like be... Even not more out of shape. Yeah, just people, like sitting down yeah, all day. I question that all the time when people come in here with problems. Um, and we'll see on x-rays, there's some like joint degeneration. I'm like, man, if I feel the way I do and I don't have that going on, yeah, imagine how like, they feel. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, it must really suck. So one of the things I'm seeing with the lumbar spine is I'm feeling how it's um, rotated. I'm noticing there's a big discrepancy here. It's tying into what we found on the right lower extremity. Mm -hmm. Basically, the, your lumbar spine, when I push on it from this angle, it moves a lot easier than when I, when I come mm -hmm. over here. You feel the difference there? Yeah. So if I'm on the right pushing towards the left, it's restricted. If I'm on the left pushing towards the right, it has a much easier time to do that. Yeah. That's going to tell us there's a little bit of a twist, a little bit of rotation, and that's 
part of the challenge that we're going to be dealing with in here. As I'm coming up into the thoracolumbar junction, which is where your vertebrae start changing shape and curvature, um, I'm noticing, again, it feels like the spine is wanting to kick a little bit out to the, to the right side. Basically, we can visibly see some discrepancy as well. So if we're looking at what's called the paraspinal muscles, these big bulky muscles, mm -hmm. this one on your right side is much more engaged. Yeah. Feel how tight that is? Yep. It's just like a real tight tender. Let's go to this side. You feel the difference there? Oh, yeah. Definitely. So night and day difference. When we're feeling this, this one's like pop, 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 yeah. click. This one over here, pretty. I mean, it's still tight. There's yeah. no doubt about it. You mm -hmm. use it, obviously. Um, but it's just not in the same ballpark of tone. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but you can literally see it just like popping if over. You, uh, if you want, I can go in my sports brother that helps for the footage. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, because I'm like, I'm sure it's pretty messed up. Like, I can feel it literally. Like, I just know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. And what's great about this is now that we can see the muscles much more clearly, we can already see from me just touching those. Just for the you know 20 seconds of me touching the muscles, I can actually start seeing it. It's, there's like red spots um, forming, which is letting us know there's some irritation, letting us know there's some oxygen um, compensation going on in there. So we need more oxygen, we need more nourishment, we need more nutrients into this muscle. So anytime we're touching like like muscles and we're just like rubbing them for a minute, and then we notice it starts getting really red, mm -hmm. um, that's letting us know there's dysfunction. There's actually a form of soft tissue treatment where you go deeper, it's called AI stem, uh, but it, it's basically instrument assisted soft tissue manipulation. So they use instruments to, to get deep into those tissues. Mm -hmm. And when you use those, you'll notice um, you can see dysfunction because it'll come up as little red dots called petechia. And, and so those, those visual cues are really letting us know just kind of what the tissue is doing on the surface level. And you know we can clearly see that that's that's real red and it's staying red um, in there as well. So, um, but we can see the muscle imbalance. So like I was saying before, when we're kind of clicking over this, it just has that big pop there. Um, a little bit on this side, but not as not as poppy. As we're climbing up the thoracic spine and I get into the middle, uh, this is about your T8 vertebrae, this starts getting really locked up right here. So this should be moving much, much better. And then right here you feel this this one. Yep. Feel how that's tight that all, is? That's where all the tightness usually is. Yeah. Right so your spine is supposed to be flexible. So like, like here's a good example. You, you feel when I push, mm -hmm. it's like bouncing up and down, up and down, right? And as soon as we get here it's a little tighter a little tighter and then just completely tight don't know why that turned out <laughs> okay next thing i'm checking for is how the scapula and oh yeah so this was so this scapula was like super winged at one point. Was it a couple of years ago? So like right now it sits the best it's ever sat. But how'd you still, how'd you correct it? Um, so like right there where your thumbs are at, basically yep. like in between there, just rolling, um, doing subscapular release, and then just more chest stuff. Gotcha. Um, and then just really focusing on the past couple of years, I've been more focused on like form, mobility, yoga, in my uh, personal fitness instead of lifting so much. Um, and just trying to learn as much as I possibly can about, you know, proper mechanics and yeah. corrective exercise. Cool. Good. I love it. Okay. But it, it's like still obviously pretty messed up right there. Around Absolutely. The and you can tell a major difference from the left. Yeah. There's still, you feel that? Yeah. That's a little bit of scar tissue adhesion in there, right there. Yeah. Um, but on this side... I like mean, right there, like I feel that. Right yeah, it's there, yeah. it's it's pretty major, and that's with you keeping up with it. Yeah, exactly. And I can definitely tell that that a um, little bit of rounding forward going on there as well. Right in here, um, we have some alignment issues. You feel that right there? That's a yep. rib, actually. That's your top of the the rib cage. Yeah. And that's pulled up on on that side. Muscles are tight on both sides. Mm -hmm. Let's check the cervical spine. See how how this is doing. Feel that big knot right there? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. The whole side. So your whole cervical spine on the right side, the neck. Mm -hmm. This is you can feel it popping. This is all. This is a major misalignment right here. Feel that? Yep. It's huge. Uh, still have misalignment on this side. Obviously not as big. Yeah. And. So these are all deeper issues. That's why when you've been working the soft tissue so much, it's it's been having a temporary effect. Mm -hmm. We have to get we have to hit it from all angles and have to get into the deeper joint. Yeah. Let's lay on your back. We'll test the shoulders and arms and wrists and elbows and see how those are working and moving and doing all that stuff. On my back way down. Yeah. So we're just going to do some uh, muscle testing, do some applied kinesiology. Um, applied kinesiology is amazing stuff. If you were to learn that as a, as a trainer, yeah. it would help your clients out dramatically. But it's a lot of work to figure it out, but it's a pretty simple concept. Basically, we just test different muscle movements and motions, and it's letting us know how the muscles are responding, mm -hmm. how the motor unit, so the nerve going to yeah. the muscles working. What we're going to do is we're going to bring the right arm up, and actually I want to bring it this way. You're going to push towards me nice and strong. Go ahead and push. Okay. Are you pushing that? Yeah. As hard as you can. Go ahead and push. Okay. See how weak that is? Yeah. So that should be way better. Let's bring this side up. Push towards me nice and strong. Okay. Good. Feel that? Mm -hmm. Feel how solid this side yeah. is? So major difference, right? For sure. I want you to keep this in mind because this is a perfect example of nerve impingement on that right side. Yeah. It's another indicator of why you've been doing all the stuff that you've been doing and the problems kind of persisted. Yeah. The nerve is affected. Okay. So if your nerve is shut off, I would say, you know, when you first were pushing back, it felt like it was 80% blocked. Yeah. I mean, just like a major... And I feel the pain right here immediately, yeah. like right there. A lot of pain and discomfort. So it's a major discrepancy. Yeah. So when you're lifting and working and doing all these things, it's just not working yeah. right. And then when your body's healing... It's not healing correctly yeah. either. So you have all of that. That's the nerve system that does that, and that's exactly what we're going to be correcting and fixing. Okay. Um, when we fix it and we're going to retest it, this whole arm is going to feel just as solid as the left side. It's going to be pretty awesome to see yeah, that. I'm so, yeah, I'm pretty excited for it. Okay, last thing we're going to do here is I just want to see how the biomechanics of the lower hip are doing. This kind of comes down. Just a little, uh, yeah, pretty tight in there. I can feel that. Let's bring this. Let's drop. There it is. That was the pubic symphysis. As uh, Dr. Casey would say, that one's on the house. <laughs> that one always pops. Does it? Yeah, I always get that one. Let's see why that one is always popping. That one was Bring easy. this Come leg. On. <laughs> Turn this one. I want um, you to keep the leg out, okay? I'm going to pull it in. Hold it out strong. Go ahead and hold. Good. Bring this in. Hold it out nice and strong for me. See a difference there? Yeah. Yep. Let's go ahead and bring this. Turn it this way. Hold out nice and strong. Woo! That was the yeah, I can't. Turn it in. Hold out nice and strong. Okay. These are exact opposite. Yeah. So this great. one, when we bring your leg in, it goes weak. This one, your yeah. right side, as we bring it out, it goes weak. So that's telling us your right hip is fixated into an external rotation. Your right hip is exact opposite. It's fixated into an internal rotation. Okay. Basically, it means the, the hip alignment is playing a role with the nerves. We're going to fix and correct that as well, and we'll see some big differences. Okay, let's go ahead and sit up. Got some more cut out for us. Good job. Yeah, it's going to So you didn't see all this fun stuff that we went through I in the did. other room. But basically, what we need to fix, like you see her legs here? Yeah. See that big difference? Yeah. we got to get this right one to go as far down as the left one. Uh -huh. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. We're going to bring the right side up. You're going to be facing me on your side. Okay. So we're going to be doing a nice, easy, balanced stretch. I'm just feeling how that IT band is kind of holding and how that's pulling. You can definitely feel a little bit of tension. It's mostly going to be in the belly right there. And then what we're going to do is this is going to, this is going to rotate. So this is going back to that muscle test we did on the feet with yeah. the internal, external rotation. We're going to do an adjustment, but we're also doing a rotation to it. Yeah. And then let's go to the other side. This is the exact opposite. So if you remember the feet, when we te muscle tested them, they were doing opposite things. So we actually have to rotate the other way on this side. Okay. Good. And I want to come down just a little bit because I want to feel the lumbar spine. Good. Okay. Face down for me. Let's check and see what's going on. 
So we always want to double check and see how the, the body is responding after we make our adjustments to see if there's the change that we want. So we're getting closer, but we're not quite there. You see that? Mm -hmm. It's closer, about half the distance, right? Yeah. But it's not 100%. And I'm not happy until it's 100% range of motion. And so what I want you to do, keep this leg straight. You're going to bring it up as high as you can. Go ahead and do that for me. Good. Bring it down for me. Do the other side as high as you can. Okay. Those aren't too bad. Good. lumbar spine is part of our problem. This is a just kind of loosening this up. We're not doing much of an adjustment right here because of that angle, but I want to right about here. Good. There it is. Perfect. Great motion. Did you feel all that moving? Yeah. How'd that feel? Felt good. Felt really good? Nice. Yeah. Let's bring this one up. We're really close now. You see the difference? <laughs> we're like a quarter inch away. We're, we're still close. This is telling me there's some, there's definitely some um, femur issues. So we've got some IT band issues and some, some issues with your, your femur in here. called the acetabulum and basically this is where the ball and socket joint start coming into the hip There it is. Mm -hmm. See that difference now? Yeah. It's perfect. Did you see all the work I had to do just to get that to move like it's supposed to? Yeah, it's pretty. And so, I feel no pain now. You feel no pain? So no. It's, you feel different? Like before I would feel like right here the stretch and yep. now I don't feel it at all. Awesome. What that's telling us is there's a lot more than just a basic hip alignment. Yeah. So that means if you, like, if you just did a basic adjustment on that area, we would have never uncovered some of this other stuff and it also lets us know that we've got a little bit of work ahead of us to do. Mm -hmm. This adjustment's not going to hold and just be perfect with just one adjustment because yeah. of all the ancillary stuff happening. So um, we got to kind of build this up is what it's telling us. Yeah. But we have the base and we have the foundation laid and so that's a really good foundation. We can move forward. Good job. And that was adjusting really well there. So let's go ahead and breathe in. Big breath coming in. You're going to relax all the way out. Good. There it is. Good job. I know that's a big adjustment. We're going to do a nice easy stretch. Awesome. That was huge. What did you feel there? <laughs> that was crazy. What did it feel like? Oh, like I've been trying to get that forever. Yeah. Yeah. That's the, that's the one it's that's It's like, been... oh, that hit that spot. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> that hit the spot. I like it. I love it. And that's the, what's funny is this is that's this not, is the bigger that's not even the bad side. That's not even the bad side. <laughs> <laughs> this is the bigger side. Okay. Um, but basically, and I can feel it. We just need to relax it. Yeah, I can already tell that it's just locking. So let's just relax the muscle. Relax. Good. Cool. There we go. Good. I know that's a big oh, reset. Yeah. That's a huge reset. Upper cervical spine lower cervical spine. So let's start with the lower. It's super tight at the base. There it is. Good. Much easier on that side. And then we're going to 
just kind of like this. Relax that big muscle right there. This one right here, relax it. Let it melt the shoulder down, bring that shoulder. Down. Okay, that's gonna be a little challenging with the tension. Let's have you lay on your back. You're gonna be face up for me. We're opening up the ankles. Good. Excellent. How'd that feel? Oh, good. Both sides. Let me grab the wash straps right here, actually. Oh, yes. This is the one I've been wanting. Have you seen this on yes. TV? Yeah. I feel like this is going to feel so good. You're going to lift the head up for me? Awesome. Let's just get your hair around that. Just kind of bring that down. Is it? Yep. There we go. Awesome. So what we're going to do here is we, we need to stretch the cervical spine. When we're doing the different adjustments, there's definitely um, compression there. It's not letting me adjust it correctly. Yeah. That tells me we actually have to open the joint space up so we can get it moving, okay? okay. Yeah. And you're just kind of breathing and relaxing. And I'm just stretching. You can feel it's kind of a good stretch when we do that. Good, just relax, good. There we go, good job. Whoa. What did you feel on that? Oh, I just feel like, literally like, I felt like my neck was like, just squished like that on my body and then just like, finally like, sat where it's supposed to be. It just all opened up? Yeah. So you actually felt it open up yeah, and do all that? Yeah. Perfect. That was awesome. Oh. And then like, releasing my upper back too, like in my traps. You felt it release in the upper back too? Yeah. Good. That's definitely what I was looking for. I like it. Let's feel it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a big one. You have jaw issues? Yes. Okay. Right and left side, both sides, or one um, side? Both sides, like just in, up in there, yeah. Yeah. So that's part of the cervical spine problem as well. Feel it? Mm -hmm. this, is, this is major right here, okay? So this is definitely something that needs to be addressed. Let's check the arms. Let's bring the arm up. Same thing, push towards me. How you feeling? You feeling a little bit better? Yeah, I don't feel like here anymore. <laughs> Let's bring this one up. Push towards me. Yeah. I would still say this is just slightly stronger on the left. Yeah. I'm gonna do a little bit of work in here, okay? okay. This is a lot better though. It's almost night and day. Let's bring that up. There it is. There it is. Did you feel that? Yeah. So we got your your clavicle on the front. We also released the scapulothoracic articulation on the back. So front and back. That was a big adjustment. Yeah. Wow. Wrist. A little bit of thumb, hypothenar, right there. How'd that one feel? <laughs> that was a big one. That was a big one. I get that a lot, actually. <laughs> That's what uh, Doriana said. <laughs> if you saw her video, yeah, which you did. <laughs> Let's bring this back up again. <laughs> Push towards me nice and strong. There we go. Feel that? Now that's feeling great. Yeah. So what do you think about people that question muscle testing? Because they, they see it on camera and they don't know if it's really real. Yeah. Did that feel real to you? Oh, 100%. Like I, like I said, I'm a trainer and like the first time I couldn't, like my, I just felt like I couldn't move my arm and then I just felt it immediately like in my front. Yeah. Front I mean, it was so weak on the first time. It was, yeah. it was. Like, I, and I was, it's not like I wasn't trying. You weren't faking and no, all that kind of stuff. 100%. Yeah. No, yeah. Cool. It's all, that's all real sounds. That's you. Yeah, that's <laughs> insane. Wow. You did awesome today. I want you to stand up and just kind of move around see how everything's feeling and motioning and. Yeah, this is what I'm supposed to feel like every single day. <laughs> yeah, you feel a little bit taller, yeah, a little bit straighter, feel, a lot yeah. looser? Yeah, like I, like I feel like I'm up here all the time, and right now I'm just like sitting cool. the way I'm supposed to. Here's what's exciting. When you go actually work out, you're going to feel it. Oh, you're going to yeah. feel so much better. Yeah, so, yeah no, I know. I know. Um, let me know how everything balances out, yeah. and you know we'll go ahead on, on that next visit. I yeah. would definitely, based on what we're seeing, we've got work to do on the jaw. Okay. We've got work to do in the upper cervical. I would yeah. that next time get those films yeah. because they're really important for you yeah. because of just what we have happening. In for the, the, your, the x-rays, is that what you're saying? Exactly, okay, yeah, because yeah, it's going to show us why those big, you have some for really sure. gnarly knots yeah. up there, and I want to see why that's happening. It's letting us know it's missing line but I want to see it okay. instead of just yeah, feel yeah. it. So. Okay. Sounds good. Awesome, good job. Hey, thank you so much. Absolutely. Appreciate it.